Hey there, I'm Nate with Nate's Driving Cleaning. Hi Nate, thanks for coming. Here's my card. Awesome, thanks so much. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the dryer on and I'm going to head to the roof and start an airflow test and a visual inspection. Uh, and then after I come back inside, this dryer we take apart from the, the, the back. Uh, and this is actually one of the dryer models that we recommend. It's one of the safest designs. So I'm gonna take apart the dryer to clean the dryer first, which helps immediately and most effectively reduce, reduce that risk of a dryer fire. And then after that, I'll tackle the vent. So I'll just kind of be in and out during the process. Okay. Awesome, thanks so much. Fantastic. Um, as we talked about, we change out the foil hose, which isn't recommended with the dryer flex. Here's a brochure about that. Okay. Um, we give all of our customers a magnet, so I wrote today's date on here as a point of reference. That way you won't forget when everything was cleaned. Awesome. You can stop that here wherever you want. Um, now, as far as what we found today, um, your, the gooseneck on the roof was about 80% clogged up. Wow. Um, and unfortunately, that's kind of a common problem with those goosenecks. Effective January 1st of last year, they actually, that particular size, the four inch size, no longer meets code. Now, you're grandfathered in, you're not required to do about it, anything about it, but we are, always tell our customers if it clogs once, it will clog again. Uh, so, just like we provided a solution for this, if you're interested, we can provide a solution for that. Um, so, as a result of the, the almost 100% clog, the dryer was pretty dirty. Um, I describe it as moderate with lint on a 1 to 10 scale is about a 6. Um, uh, I wouldn't say it was dangerously dirty. Uh, again, you have a very safe model as far as the designs. So that's another plus for you. And then the dryer vent itself on a 1 to 10 scale was very similar. It was about a 5. Um, I think the only other thing that I have to reference, oh, your, your vent was 15 feet. Um, and that's it. Um, how many loads of laundry do you guys do on average per week here? Probably about 4. 4? So most people are on a one to 10 scale. We tell people if you're on the top half of that scale, we recommend every year or two, or if you're on the bottom half of that scale every two or three years, or if you're kind of floating in the middle, maybe a year and a half to two and a half years. Um, I think really the only other thing I have to reference is because your laundry room is so small, we do recommend uh, leaving the door at least halfway open when the dryer's in use. Okay. The dryer manufacturers refer to it as makeup air because that air that comes from the back of the dryer has to come from somewhere and it actually comes from the surrounding area. So by leaving the door halfway open, you're supplying it, as they say, more airflow, mm -hmm. and your dryer will actually suddenly run better. Do you have any questions? No, that's great information. Awesome, well thanks so much. Um, if you don't mind signing here, I'll give you